Get over here. Mortal Kombat X. Xbox One. Uh, let's talk about it. If you haven't played, who hasn't played Mortal Kombat in there? If you're into games, why haven't you tried out Mortal Kombat? Don't like Bernie? Then you probably won't like Mortal Kombat. Um, yeah, so this starts us out with you picking a faction. It could be White Lotus, which is uh, Raiden's faction. Uh, yeah, here. Accept order from by the Thunder God of Raiden and Shaolin. Uh, Special Forces, that's where you got like Jax, Jacqueline Briggs, uh, Sonya Blade, Cassie Cage, Johnny Cage, people like that. Special Forces team. Uh, Brother of Shadow, which is. How you say it? Yeah, I'll be just hanging from the evil nether realm. The Brotherhood of Shadow is a ruthless, uh, secretive organization that has abandoned free will to serve uh, the fallen g elder god uh, Shinnok. Using dark magic to resurrect fallen warriors, the ranks grow with each conflict and their. Uh, busy in it. They're kind of like the bad guys. Uh, Black Dragon is Kano's group. And then you got uh, Lin Kuei, which is Scorpion's Zero. Uh, all those okay. people. So what's the point of picking a faction? Um, there's faction wars and war towers and invasion boxes and invasion towers. So that's kind of the more like, oh, even... Uh, just like playing the game, you get points for your faction, so that helps out in the faction war. Uh, I think like every week you could win with your faction, so that's kind of fun. Uh, invasion bosses come and go, invasion towers come and go every day or two. Um, online, you got versus team, king of the hill, tower battle, uh, faction war again. Um, two player, you got player versus player, test your luck, uh, custom combat, and test your might. Uh, test your luck, or here, actually I'll get into, um, single player. So you got the story, which is good, I'll get into that after this as well. Um, towers, single fight, test your luck, and training. Um, so test your luck, it's, uh, the description you fight against the AI or your friend um, with the random gameplay modifiers. So, pretty much that. Towers, they have uh, traditional towers, living towers, and tower challenges. So, again, that'll help out traction, story. Um, that's it, let's get into the story. It's kind of short, or not kind of, it's pretty short. I think there's like 12 chapters uh, basically you just I'm not gonna spoil the story for you but I enjoyed it um, it was fun you kind of play as every character on the good guy side so you don't get to play uh, some people like Luke Kane cuz he's dead but he's also in the game here I'll tell you who's all in the game but yeah, it's it's Mortal Kombat, dude. It's fun. Uh, yeah, so you could get Jason if you want to spend some money on your download. Uh, Kung Lao, he's dead. Uh, Jax, Sony Blade, uh, Kenshi, which is the Blind Swordsman, Katana, uh, Scorpion, Sub Zero, Molina. Uh, t I can never say this. T A K E D A. He's in it. Cassie Cage is in it. Uh, Jacqueline Briggs. Uh, Quinn Jin is in it. Uh, you can push a squirrel for five dollars. Uh, Quan Chi's in it. Raiden. Devora. Uh, Ferrator. Reptile. Uh, Korkan. Uh, Emric. Blue King. Uh, Aaron Black. Johnny Cage. Kano and Shinnok. Plus, uh, Predators in it, DLC characters, uh, 
Squirrel, Tremor, and uh, Tanya. So basically in the story, it's in the future, um, 20 years into the future, from the last game, I, no, not even from the last game, from like before or after, like a little bit after. So basically, it's Mortal Kombat for the next generation. That's where you get Jacqueline Briggs, uh, Kitty Cage, again, Takeda, and uh, what's his name? Kong Jin are like uh, Kitty Cage is Johnny Gage and Sony Blade's uh, daughter. Uh, Jacqueline Briggs is uh, Jackson's daughter. Uh, Kong Jin is somebody's cousin or something like that. I think he's uh, Kung Lao's cousin. And then Takeda is uh, what's his name? Kenshi's son. Doesn't need to tell you in the story, but you no know, things blend together. So then, yes, Mortal Kombat. Is it worth sixty dollars? It depends on how you want to play, which is a cheap answer, but, how do I mean it's cheap answer, okay, so if you are a fan of Mortal Kombat, you know what Mortal Kombat is, and you grew up in Mortal Kombat, or you played Mortal Kombat before, you go, I like Mortal Kombat, that is a good game, it is fun, get Mortal Kombat, if you're going, I'm bored, I kind of want to get a new game, what's out, how much money you want to spend? Me, I spent 51 pre-owned. Super excited about that. Um, that said, if you're mostly just like, I'm gonna play Mortal Kombat for the story, I'm not gonna get into the competitive side. Wait a bit. Or pick it up and then return it at GameStop. That only works for pre-owned. Um, what else? The only thing I didn't like about it is it has a lot of the time-lapse uh, series in it. If you don't know what a time-lapse is, or time-lapse series or sequence, whatever you want to call it, that's when the game pauses the main story and goes into an interactive cutscene. So it'll be like, boom, boom, push A, push A. So then you push A and you continue, and then boom, 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 push B, push B. So you push B and then it continues, and if you mess up, you mess up the story. So that's the only thing I like about it. Uh, also, I would have liked a little bit more on backstory for the new generation, but they did their best to explain that, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, good game. If you like more combat, pick it up. Peace.